You make my point. <laughs> that as long as a white man does it, it's all right. A black man is supposed to have no feelings. But when a black man strikes back, he's an extremist. He's supposed to sit passively and have no feelings, be nonviolent and love his enemy, no matter what kind of attack, be it verbal or otherwise, he's supposed to take it. But if he stands up and in any way tries to defend himself, <laughs> then he's an extremist. Oh, well, any time you live in a society supposedly based upon law, and it doesn't enforce its own law because the color of a man's skin happens to be wrong, then I say those people are justified to resort to any means necessary to bring about justice where the government can't give them justice. In, in my opinion, the young generation of whites, blacks, brown, whatever else there is, you're living at a time of extremism, a time of revolution, a time when there's got to be a change. People in power have misused it, and now there has to be a change, and a better world has to be built, and the only way it's going to be built with it, with, it, with, it is with extreme methods. Don't care what color you are, as long as you want to change this miserable condition that exists on this earth. Thank you.